Today we're going to follow a mixed train around my layout so I can show you what I'm done, what I'm about to do, and what I plan to do on that area in the future. This is a layout update and a look ahead. In the bottom right corner of your screen you will see a little five car mixed freight train heading down to Denver the train won't be the focal point of the video today the train will get us to our focal points and it will serve as a guide of where we're at and what we're about to do is stop right down here in Denver so I, so I can tell you and remind myself what's in store for this area on my layout all right so what I'm going to be doing down here in Denver this area down here is actually going to be considered a sub area um, it's going to be underground basically I'm going to take some of this masonite hardboard whatever it is and I'm going to take a, a rather large piece of kind of and I'm going to fit it in the corner I'm going to spend the four dollars and I'm going to get the blinds for this window and take this curtain out and uh, that's Max talking to my dog Gracie and so anyway what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take the hardboard and I'm going to cut it in into the 90 I'm going to make it fit in there right and well and I'm going to do it just above, you know, in this area level right here. And I'm going to cut it out. It's going to come in here and this, the board will come down and through here. So it'll kind of be a, um, a very shallow U or V almost. It'll come in. The, the back part will go all the way to the wall. And what we're going to do is give ourselves some little areas in here up top here i'm going to have parking and stuff down here a little sub area um don't know exactly what's going to happen for sure but up here on top of this is i'm going to have a city scene i'll have denver's union station in there and um, some city buildings commercial stuff as well all right next we're going to move forward into sats mill so i'm going to change the camera angle all right, even though it's pretty far back there you can see the little train creeping out of denver it's heading towards Layton, Colorado, west towards the mountains right now. And we're going to creep on down towards Jerry Satt's place, and we're going to talk about what's going to happen in there. Got a lot of stuff actually going to happen in there, so let's talk about that. All right, so what we're going to be doing down here, Jerry Satt's mill has several things that needs to happen. All right, I'm gonna give you a rundown of what's gonna happen through here from a distance, and then I'll kind of bring you in for a close-up, I guess. I hadn't figured out exactly how I'm gonna do that. But we got some, a lot of stuff that's gonna be going on down in here. Jerry Satz has a water wheel down there. I'm probably gonna be showing you the water wheel in a little pick and pick right now. That's probably the best way to do that. And so Jerry Wheel Satz has got a little water wheel down there. It's got to be attached. It's got to be painted properly and weathered. Also on the tush to the left of the water wheel is a waterfall that needs to be tended to. Um, I need to add much, uh, there used to be water there, but I've kind of uh, sculpted over it and stuff. So need to totally redo the waterfall in there coming down. Also the water coming through here as well. I've got a portal tunnel here, tunnel portals that needs to be repainted. And then I've got to uh, plug this in up here and I'll talk to you about that a little more. Basically, I'm just gonna have to, I'm gonna fill in a hole and make it look like it's coming straight to the mountain. Down here, I need to redo my uh, South Boulder Creek. Needs to be redone. Um, it's dirty, it's old, and it just needs to be covered over, basically. I'll be re-pouring South Boulder Creek soon as well. Something else gonna be coming. I say soon, it won't be soon. There's a lot of stuff I gotta get going on. Also down here, um, I'm going to be putting Jerry Satz a cabin right here so he's close to his mill and so he'll have a personal residence down here on South Boulder Creek. Lucky Jerry. All right. And then we will also have another building, another commercial operation down here. And it'll be a whitewater rafting um, outpost type building. And I've got a name for that, and that will be disclosed later when that's ready. But I'm going to have a whitewater rafting outpost down here. And so uh, that'll be named after one of our community members as well. 
and so we're probably gonna have to get him a residence down here somewhere on South Boulder Creek, somewhere near Jerry as well. Moving on, we're gonna come up the helix and I'll tell you what's going on next. All right, so what I do is I talk to you while the train's going up the helix about the helix. Inside the helix, we have my cabin and I should be showing you that in a small pick and pick right now. And my cabin needs to be painted. It needs to have uh, walkways, driveways, ballast, um, that kind of stuff put in. Um, also, down here where the mountain comes out, I have track work to do. I should be showing you a little bit about that right now. Down here, uh, I've removed some of this stuff to get some other stuff done, but I have a Y I need to put in there to connect where the train can come park at my house if I want to park with my loco. Obviously, I need roads everywhere through here. Um, I've, that track work, what that Y is going to do is it comes down here and it comes back into here. And what's going to happen is it, there's another turnout that goes right here, okay, that connects this to this and another turnout and what that does is go back here through here and spirals back through the helix down into the subway area all right and that's coming that's down the road as well also i mentioned to you in the helix that right here i have to fill in to match the tunnel portal the only thing i'm not going to really like about having this tunnel portal being permanent is I do like to be able to move it because I can get in there and clean the track. Right up in here is where it seems that all my um, problems, not my problems, but it seems like my dirt and corrosion seems to want to come into this area from the track. I can almost clean my track right through here and in here. It seems like that's where stuff likes to collect. All right, we got the train coming up the top right now. And what it's doing is it's rolling through here um, out of Rocky, Colorado, heading to Clay, Colorado. And what's in Clay, Colorado, we'll talk to you about right here. And as you see, we got the train coming through Clay, Colorado right now. We'll stop here. And we have a warehouse under construction right now. You're probably seeing a pick and pick for that right now. We have a warehouse that is under construction right now. I'm excited about that. We're going to have the uh, owner of the warehouse, whose name shall remain nameless at this point. The owner of the warehouse will have a nice cabin right up here on this little area right here as well. So we're going to have a warehouse. We need ballast. We need ground cover. We're going to need four or five, maybe three or four. It doesn't matter. Two or three. I'll settle for one. We're going to need some semis, some 18-wheel trucks or 16-wheelers. I don't know. Do they make 16-wheelers? I think there's a 14, I don't know. Anyway, um, put that down there in the comments if you want. I don't know if they make 16 wheel trucks or not. Jerry, you probably know. Um, anyway, the uh, warehouse is gonna go here. This is where all of our road freight distribution is gonna go. There is an area right here. There is gonna be an area right here on the back of the warehouse for freight to drop off loads if they need to. I guess they could pick up loads as well but I would assume that typically the freight would be dropping loads off in here. Trucks would be picking them up and taking them out. I'll have a road coming out here going to almost nowhere or something. One day there could be some stuff in here. We're, we're gonna rain the, run the train right through here right now towards the Gross Reservoir Dam. Um, the Gross Reservoir Dam houses McKernan's Mill. All right, so all the way through here, I'm going to need uh, ballast, I'm going to need some grass and ground cover. I'm actually going to have South Boulder Creek poking in and out of these rocks over through here. You can see that's what these areas were made like this for. Um, there is going to be water all the way against the rock face over there. The rock face will actually come out more later, not too far into here a little bit but it'll do that. I've got these two spurs that run in here. One goes to Utah, one goes to Wyoming, and I'll have some, hopefully I'll have some stuff in here one day maybe, but uh, need ballast, need ground cover, all that down there um, definitely needs to uh, not look like wood and stuff. Um, wherever there's tracks, I wanna get some um, ground cover and everything. And that brings us over to the corner over there 
Um, the corner over there is, yeah, we, I think I can. The corner over there is a uh, gross reservoir dam. And I am gonna pour water in there. And what should happen is I've got some more sculpting to do on the dam to get the, uh, the lines and stuff right. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour water in. What's gonna happen actually is the water will come out of the dam and if I can make sure I don't get it on the track in that little corner right there, the water should actually run downhill and run down for me. I've got a couple areas down here where I'll have to block it off because it'll actually go out, the river's gonna actually go out of view a couple times. All right, we don't want this to be too lengthy. All right, so I just had to give it a little more juice. All right, so right here, we're going to have a bridge because this is where trucks uh, pick up wood as well. So we'll, we'll have a uh, automotive bridge coming through here and here. So we'll have um, entrances and exits into the into McKernan's coming here and here. All right, and so right here is where John's cabin will be. He'll have a good view of the spillway of the dam as well as his mill and the log pond as well so he can keep a good eye on everything i'm not sure how attractive the dam um, looking at a spillway would be but shoot he played he grew up playing in an acid pit so i'm sure looking at this gross reservoir dam spillway in the mountain background i'm sure he won't mind that. we're gonna roll down towards elfins now obviously what i need to do in here i need ground cover i need grass Roy Eltham is going to have a cabin in this area right in here, probably because I got some space. I tried to think of a place in there for him, but he was, I didn't want him too close to the mill, um, to the coal mine, excuse me. All right, we've also got a new addition to the layout. Um, Norm's Diner right here, all right? This is Norm's Diner right here, and this is a new addition to our layout and we're proud to have it here because those guys at the coal mine gotta eat. We figured John and Jerry come over here. Jerry's got kind of a long ride. We're gonna try to get him some food down there as well. Um, but we're gonna have Roy right here. We've got a diner right here for he and his guys and John. And we've got coal coming in, coal going out. We got the Helix in here. What's gonna be happening in this area, we do need some more plaster. We need some more paint. Um, we need some ballast, we need some ground cover, we need some light snow, Mod Podge, light snow. On my layout, as you come out of McKernan's towards this way, when you start to get in here, we're going to start seeing little bits of snow, all right? As we get into here, we're going to see more and more and up, up, when you get up into these mountains in here, you're gonna see even more snow in here, okay? It's gonna to start to get snowy as we get into the coal mine because when you pop out of the tunnel, we blizzard conditions at Winter Park. We're gonna be full snow up there. Um, we're gonna be right after blizzard at Winter Park, the day after a blizzard at Winter Park, all right? So what we're gonna be doing is we got to get to the tunnel next. And so when we get over here, I actually set that there for a kind of weird purpose. All right, I'm gonna have foam coming down from the top, okay? And it's actually gonna come down, that foam is gonna come down through here, right? And down over into here. So what, I'm, what I'll do is, let me show you if I can get this set up for you. So what'll happen is I'll have foam coming and it'll start to come out here. And the foam's gonna come up through here and into here and it'll bubble into this, right? So all this will be mountain. This guy's going through the tunnel right now, okay? And so what I'm gonna be doing in the tunnel is all of this is going to be foam and rock and ballast and LEDs through here. You're gonna look in here and see nothing but dark rock 
in battle. It's not super dark, but, but, but not light gray. And then when you pop out of this tunnel right here, you're coming into Winter Park, all right? And so all this will be covered in um, snow and we will have residential we will have commercial we will have um everything under the sun that i can think of up here that i can fit that winter park has and then what we will do is we will eventually we'll figure out how to we're going to get some foam to come in here and we're going to actually have that area up there be the ski mountain we'll have a little ski lift heading up there as well in another world we could have a track that comes off right here we could come up and head up there and have a yard that would be tabernash if that is leslie gilpin i think is the one that i need to talk to about that um tabernash right there would be up here um if i ever get that far so one, click, one quick last look at the stops on our layout. We have Jerry Satz Mill. We have the warehouse that is coming. This is Clay, Colorado. We have McKernan's Mill going over to Eltham's Coal Mine through the Moffat Tunnel. And we pop out to Winter Park where now we have the Winter Park Balcony House as well and more to come. I tell you what, I want to appreciate y'all for watching with me today. Again, this video was as much for my organizational purposes as it was to entertain y'all. I kind of hope it did. I hope it was informative. Yeah. Now what I need to do, and now what I have to do is prioritize everything. But first and foremost, I do have ballast. I do have ground cover. I do have Mod Podge, baking soda, and baking powder. So what I'm going to be doing, I do have plaster. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and finish up the ground cover to the best of my ability, minus the ballast. I got a lot of new spurs on the line, and I'm not ready to ballast that stuff yet. Um, I could start ballasting the main line, but I guess I just really don't want to yet. But it is something that's coming. I appreciate your time today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please share this with your other modeling friends. Subscribe if you have not already. Smash that like button. And leave me a comment below to let me know you are here. I sure do appreciate you. Thank you for watching my update today. We'll see you soon. Merry Christmas. I hope to see y'all at Cousins and Sparky's giveaway streams.